dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's the awesomes. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, today is the 24th and we're taking a look at the Hulu original, The Awesomes. That's right, and this was made by several of the cast m members from SNL, plus it's got a whole bunch of other ones like Bill Hader, uh, Seth Meyers, uh, uh, Ike, or, uh, I forget his name. Uh, and basically the premise is, you have a, a like a Justice League kind of thing, you have a group of heroes who are like the great heroes, but then they kind of disband when... Um, Mr. Awesome or Captain Awesome or whatever his name decides, I'm done with this, I'm, I'm going to retire. We, and we should probably mention that it's an animated series. It is an animated series, yes. Uh, and uh, and so the child of Mr. Captain Awesome, whatever his name was, takes over. And, and his son is a, a doctor and a professor, or a professor and a doctor. And he goes by the nickname Proc, or Proctor, or Professor Doctor. Um, and his name is Jeremy Awesome. And he's just trying to get his team together because he wants to be... The Awesomes. He wants to have that team. Well, he go. basically has a void, and he like convinces the government to give him funding if he can get you know a super team together. Right. So he goes through all the rejects of the previous team. Right, because he can't get any of the good guys, you know, the, the solid characters to join him. So he has to go through the rejects. Uh, so why don't you take it away? Because you brought it to my attention. Okay, uh, this is one of those things that again we're doing kind of a Hulu original, you know, new thing. Like we did some Netflix originals. Right. Of course, those were live action, whatever. Yeah, they're okay, you know, kind of thing. So, but that's definitely kind of the future. I think that people are taking cues from, you know, HBO and cable's kind of dying a little bit. So, uh, it was interesting to to see that there was a hey, yeah, there's a superhero and it's got a bunch of SNL voices that I recognize. And what does that mean? You know, is it going to be filthy? Because you know, you think of like uh, all the animated shorts from SNL and they're they're pretty dirty. You know, yeah. usually they're funny, but they're pretty dirty. Uh, so this one, I watched a couple episodes, I was like, eh, it's okay, you know, I love the voices, and some of the characters are fun, because they're, you know, they're, you know, thumbing their nose at, at other superheroes kind of thing, and, and just kind of a amalgam, uh, you know, of, of a bunch of different stereotypical things, but maybe done in a slightly different way. And overall, it's actually a fairly clean anime, yeah. so it's really not a problem as far as, like, watching with kids or whatever, and, but it still maintains, you know, it's still able to be funny, uh, so I do like it. It's not like the greatest thing in the world. It's not terribly edgy or anything like that. So if you're looking for that, that kind of pushes the envelope, you might not like it. I, I don't think it's really solid enough for people who are really, like, on the edge of whatever. I don't um, know. It feels it feels like a very decent Saturday morning cartoon, you know? Like yeah, right. For, for and I guess the, slightly adulter crap. Adulter. A more adult crowd. Uh, I thought you said adulter crap. Adulter Adultery crap. crap. Adulter crap. Uh yeah, I mean, I guess I guess I would agree with that, and most people's Saturday mor morning cartoons aren't really that compelling, so that, yeah. that's what I'm saying, you know, of our age, anyway. Um, I'm not sure if, if people, you know, are aware of it that much. I think it's doing okay. Yeah. Um, overall, it's 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 fun. Yeah, the characters are fun. I, I One of my favorite characters is uh, Impresario, Impresario uh, Austin Impresario Sullivan, who's played by Keenan Thompson, and I, I've loved Keenan Thompson ever since. You know, he's a great voice actor. Yeah, I just, too. I just, I like me, I like his comedy. Uh, I like him with Keenan and Cal, and and I watched him on Saturday Night Live, and I enjoyed him there. But this character is fun because he he has this. He's like a Green Lantern character who can summon things. He's he's more magic based, but Green Lantern like, uh, in that he can summon things, and mostly what he summons is like representations of yeah. his mother. He has mommy issues. Yeah, yeah, he definitely has mommy issues. So. So to see that, it's just fun, and and, yeah. and his mom is played by him, right? It's the same voice. He does, yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's just. And fun. I guess that's that's the fun, you know, a, a huge portion of the fun part is the superhero reject and yeah. what that means. You know, you got uh, the fast guy. I forget his uh, name. Frantic. Frantic, who is like this country bumpkin, like really, yeah, really. <laughs> that's all I think of when when I see him. The whole <laughs> deliverance thing. Uh, so he's just really off, but he's he's always excited or whatever. Yeah. But even if he's like sad, he's excited, sad, you know, whatever. And then Muscle Man's kind of like he's he actually was part of the original uh, superhero group. Uh, well, actually, for a very short time, wasn't he? Because his father was, and then I think he was for a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, he's he's kind of maybe the most normal, but he's also kind of the frat, you know, jockey kind of guy. But he also has some nerd edge to him. And then we have uh, Tim, played by Bobby Lee, who's who's 
uh, kind of the Hulk esque a little bit. Yeah, it turns into a giant kind of, sumo character. And, but he's young, so he's always like, "What does this mean?" You know, yeah. kind of thing. And then Gadget Gal, which is fun because she's you know a hero from yesteryear, and we get all the kind of fifties uh, and forties kind Lingo. of slang. And, yeah, yeah, it's it, so cool. It, it is fun. So overall, it's it's fun. There's not a whole lot of episodes. There's really just the one season. So what is that? Oh, I don't know. I didn't write down these episodes. What are you kidding me? Research? Me? Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like terribly long. It's no, been there... a while since I watched it. I mean, it just finished up, you know, like a month ago or yeah. a couple weeks yeah. ago. There wasn't a lot of episodes, and it is just the first season. And I kind of just watched them all in, you know, two different sittings, so they kind of all blurred together a little bit. Right. The theme song is awful, but apparently, spoiler alert, <laughs> Proc wrote it, so, because he has this little ringtone thing. It's like, ah, oh, no, that's a song that I made. Yeah, like, yeah. But um, yeah, there's there's some there's some fun. It's just not edgy enough for some people, I'm sure. That that's all I would I would say is because you know like people who like Archer are not gonna necessarily like this that much. Well, they they might, but it might be a different type of like. That's true, like you. I like it. So uh, I'm hoping to see more, and I kind of like the you know the 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 trend of these companies doing these things. Yep. So I would love more animation. I mean, you know, we're 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 fortunate enough that we get. A solid DC and a solid Marvel, pretty much, you know, continually. So I would love to see, you know, a third, you know, uh, uh, house doing that. That would be awesome. No pun intended. So that's it. Anything else? Uh, no. Again, very colorful characters. Uh, if you've got Hulu, I'm sure you can find a couple episodes for free. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, so go check it out. See if you like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Uh, Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art, print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. All right, guys. See you next time. No. Coming up, it's Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. sense that you were going to be a little... <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm out of the swing of it. Whatever, you got the first one. Did I? Well, yeah, because I blanked twice. Yeah, that's right. I was shooting blanks. Okay. Wah, wah. Mm.